Now at 11, Miami-Dade mayors past and present taking verbal shots at each other over maintenance problems at Miami International Airport. Out of service elevators, escalators and a sky train that's been closed for months are frustrating passengers so much they're now looking for alternatives. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward breaks it all down. <laughs> Inside Miami International Airport, passenger living hardly feels easy. People drag wheeled bags upstairs. Yes, because the elevator is closed. Detours steer crowds around broken escalators, out of service elevators, stalled people movers. And thanks to cracked concrete closing the SkyTrain for months, Terminal D passengers face mile long treks to board flights. Yes. South Africa's Dylan Termushazen and his 140 pounds of luggage missed his plane to Orlando. And I was just down there, and the reason I kept walking this way was because the elevator wasn't working down there either. So here comes eight and a half billion dollars worth of promise. County blueprints reveal plans to improve infrastructure and maintenance, an issue for which Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava took no blame. That's ridiculous. It fired up former mayor and current South Florida Congressman Carlos Jimenez and led to finger pointing. No mayor, no administration before has had the vision and the courage to make such significant investments in our airport. No, uh, we maintain that airport very well. I've never had any kind of the complaints uh, about the airport that we're hearing now. Critical improvements were delayed for decades, and I am turning that around. We never had an issue, uh, never had a problem, even have a question as to, gee, we don't have enough money to maintain this airport. We have been righting the wrongs of the past and stepping up. I did take offense of it because I, I haven't been the mayor for three years, uh, and and she has. Jimenez says Levine Cava mismanaged maintenance contracts, which took two years to change. Still, the current mayor believes planned investments will push last year's record 52 million passenger total to new heights. Not everyone is certain. It depends upon my distance. Magdalena Andrade sees options growing in Broward County. It's your choice, too. Even though Fort Lauderdale is a much smaller airport, you don't have as conveniences that you have in Miami airport. <laughs> this celebrity cruise musician from Budapest thinks the mayor's plan hits all the right notes, and he's convinced better travel days are near. I'm always fine the way. But that might be me. I always see the better side. The county improvement plan begs for patience. It could take 15 years to finish major additions and restoration, but Mayor Levine Cava expects maintenance repairs to happen much sooner. At Miami International Airport, Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami.